This month, the city of Kirkland launched Community Court for nonviolent offenders. On their website, the city says that this community court is a hand up to restore the person and the community. Kirkland is the latest city to try compassion before punishment. And it's just a, an alternative way to address some of the less serious offenses in, in our communities. Judge John Olson presides over Kirkland's community court, a new effort to help low-level offenders not get trapped in the justice system. But the last thing we want to do is, is incarcerate somebody uh, when there's other ways out there maybe to address the system. The program has been going on for two weeks in Kirkland, but is modeled after similar courts in Redmond and Shoreline and in places like San Diego and New York that have been going for years. There are some general requirements to determine eligibility for community court. First of all, it has to be a nonviolent, low-level offense. And a person cannot have any violent felony convictions within the past five years, nor can they have any pending violent felony cases or a sex offender history. And often it'll be the city prosecuting attorney who determines who is eligible for community court. A lot of the cases will be theft, uh, shoplifting, that type of thing, criminal trespass, uh, maybe um, drunk, drunk in public or disorderly conduct. Once a person is eligible, Judge Olson says they'll be paired up with services to complete their term. If you meet all the requirements at the end of a fairly short period of time, could be anywhere from 12 weeks to, to six months, the case will be dismissed. And Judge Olson adds it was intentional to have shorter time frames. The sooner you can get a person into the system and out of the system, the better chance they're going to have of being successful and not uh, reoffending. As states nationwide look to address crimes with help and not handcuffs. For you personally, how important is the work that you're doing here with this community court? I, I think it's vital. I mean, we need to find alternative ways to uh, to work with the individuals in, in, in our community. Tony Black, King 5 News.